Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Checks Out. I am your host, Ted, over there. It's also not the mood. That checks out as well. Damon Paracchio. <laughs> Over there running the things, doing the stuff, changing cords, making static, whatever hey, he's doing today. And feeling meh. Yeah. Yeah. Burning himself with hot coffee yet still not waking up. <laughs> Brian Big Mac. Let's start the show. I've already ruined it. Damon, let's see if you can pick it up. Hey, so are we going to, we don't get the echo for the whole show? I mean, we could. Oh, God. <laughs> we're, I think we're going to need it. We're going to need some auto tune. <laughs> we're going to need all kinds of stuff. You're going to need a second guy. I don't know if I can stick with that. <clears throat> well, it's, it's Saturday morning, which is when we like to record. Um, apparently today is not one of those days. I feel days. terrible because we actually have a sponsor. <clears throat> we, and well, I don't want to feel like, like, hey, you sponsored an episode. No. We're not going to put any effort into it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so this morning, um, normally we catch, and I'm going to get to the sponsor, but normally we check, catch I up with everybody. I don't care if you do or not. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of relationship I have with that guy. But I go will, ahead. I will have two people sleeping today. <laughs> So at least neither one of you will be Googling stuff for me or awake paying attention. That's good. Um, no, so the this morning when I walked in, I came into some killer music, like in the car. I was like, oh, this is great, right? Um, but that's after I had to make sure I drove here like impeccably because have you ever left the house without like your, your wallet? Oh, is that what you did? Well, I didn't do that. I per se, my wallet left the house without me and went with my wife to where <laughs> she was going. Um, she had her Alzheimer's. Thing this morning for the walk, oh, right, 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 which right. is, I guess you donated and you're getting a sandwich. Is that how it works, Ted? I don't know how that works, but you're doing something. Uh, yeah, sure. For, Have you had the sandwich? Is, because this is being recorded? Yes, I did both of those. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, so, I had a gargantuan. Was that enough? Yeah, I was a gargantuan. <laughs> why can't I have both a sandwich and, and donate? <laughs> why not both? Yeah, why not both? Um, but no, so she was doing that. Well, last night, she was my ride over to my buddy's house because I decided I don't drink, but I decided last night that uh, that needed to happen. Whoa. So, yes. Yes. Whoa. So, so probably now um, Hello. I might have to take Everybody. one of my shoes off. Hey, do you want some toes. of this coffee? Yeah. No. Well, no, Wait, I don't want coffee because sure? I know what it means. Does, no, so, I don't. Does that mean you not wearing socks is a, oh, Damon's been drinking again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he couldn't even find, bother just, to put I on put, socks. I put my shoes on this morning. I didn't get socks. A little bit because as I'm digging for him, my head hurts when I bend it over. So I said, you know what? <laughs> well, what, did, what was this occasion? Uh, what, the what? occasion was the last 14 days have been absolutely miserable. And I said, you know, just bad decision riddled after bad, bad decision. I thought, why not throw something on top? Let's and, stop it off with booze. Sure. And it's funny. Well, what, did you hear that? <laughs> Let's stop it off with booze. <laughs> <laughs> my voice was like, nope, not doing it. Yeah, thanks, Bobby Brady. <laughs> Or was it Peter? Peter. It was Peter. When it's time <clears throat> to change. But uh, no, it was funny because I was telling the guys I work with, I said, well, tonight I'm going to go over to my, my buddy Jeremy's house and we're going to, you know, I'm going to probably tie one on, which for me isn't a whole lot because I'm not a avid drinker, but it well, still it consisted of a whole lot last night. And uh, which is good because this morning's a weigh in day. And we decided I, after I was drunk, I wanted pizza. So I ate pizza last night too at like 10 o'clock. I don't, I don't want to disillusion you, but you also have a lot of mass. Yes. So, yes, I do. It I might mean, not be a lot, but it probably was a lot. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, yeah, the skinny guy's laughing behind the microphone over there. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they were doing, we, they, we had a kegger. They, it was just me. They were doing an office sequel. They need, you know, they need a yeah. Brian they need, over there. You and Big Mac. Just look at the camera. <laughs> just looking at each other. <laughs> He's doing the old side eye thing like, yeah. Right. Mass. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm really curious. I want to know what you had. What, um, no, how, long, so, how long this went? So it, here's what I told my buddy. I said, listen, I got to record a podcast on Saturday morning. And he goes, this is a bad idea that we do this tonight. And I go, correct. It is the stamp of 14 days of horrendous decisions and bad things happening. I'm going to put a stamp on it. Um, very glad I did. Uh, but I went there. So I don't know what time I got there. Probably 630, you know. But I told him, I says, I... I only live five minutes from him. Yeah, that's I. Yeah, I'm aware of this. So yeah, you, getting a ride seemed well because I was not going to. I, I guess I'll walk home across, a, you know, a kind of a highway. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, right, he's right. close, but you have to cross yeah. a highway. Right. right. So anyway, plus I took my two little kids because they will they play with his kids, so they had a good time. You know, my 13, 11 year old, they had fun. Um, so I was a great dad, as you could tell. You know, I totally knew oh, yeah. what they did hey, the whole uh, time I was there. Yeah, you Go. guys walk. Like, 
pub with me. So uh, Go play. house. Yeah. Who, who's going to drive me over to get pizza? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what are you guys' best at go-karts? Because yeah. <laughs> we're, we're stepping it up yeah. today. Here, we're going to play Mario Kart. I want to see who does the best because one of you is taking me over to Pizza Hut. Right. But uh, so so we, we did pull that. me this wagon. I want pizza. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't that bad, but I was uh, very friendly and very happy. And uh, that's good because I haven't been those two things in like 14 yeah, days. I haven't, I haven't 14 days. Yeah. <laughs> I think you misspelled years. Oh, there. Side eye again. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Yeah. You are, yeah. You're, you're imagining things. You're going yeah. to hell. But anyway. <laughs> it's, so uh, was, it, was it just beer? Or did you do any hard stuff? No. Like, well, here's here's the thing. Uh, uh, he No, he keeps a nice array of beers there. So I was like, I'm not going to buy beer. I went back. Now, again, I, I've been drunk probably 10 times in my life. And I'm 44. So mid-40s, you say, right? Yeah. Mid-40s. Yeah. <laughs> four, five, six. Mid. <laughs> four, five, six. Mid. So... I decided to go get a, uh, I wanted to get a bottle of something. Well, I don't know because it's been like 20 years since I bought something. So I go, hey, root. Is, is this early times delicious? So so I go, I go, hey, root beer, root beer schnapps. It's oh, been. Oh my God. I know. Talk about the Wayback Machine, right? So I get it. I like root beer. So I'm like, cool. So I grab that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I grab that. And I go, so I get there, and everybody's like, are you in high school? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I'm like, no, but I don't know what stuff is. You, I don't buy alcohol. Did you get any Boone's Farms? Yeah. Or- <laughs> Mad Dog 2020. 2020. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know? And I'm like, what the hell? are you- You're judging me based on my <laughs> well, yeah, my limited alcohol knowledge, right? I'm the quite, quite the connoisseur of the back aisle of the liquor store, you know? Um, so I, I probably, I down, I don't know, probably three quarters of that bottle, and- uh, <laughs> okay, here's where I get judged. All right, here's are you a drinker? You, Are you a drinker, Mac? Yeah, you, you drink I, alcohol compared to you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the teenager that didn't have to call over a manager to ring you out judged you. Yeah. I, I could probably sell this to you. It's fine. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> yeah. Well, first off, I don't need to card you. But second off, I'm just going to judge your your decision making process. That's what I'm doing tonight. I'm on a bad decision making round. All right. So oh. how are we judging you now? Um, <clears throat> I had. Um, <laughs> natty light strawberry stuff or whatever uh, it is. Oh, oh, I, this is like one step away from the wine cooler. I'm sure, right? I'd w- rather you had a wine cooler. Right, right. So anyway, after about I don't know eight or ten of those, right? I was uh, and and three quarters. I was feeling pretty good, and I, I had a time frame. My goal was I didn't want to know my name by ten fifty five. I wanted to be in my bed by eleven. That was exactly what my that, text said to my buddy. It's very responsible it kind of close. Of you. It was, yeah, I yeah, thought it was good, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was good. So anyway, at um, 10.50, I'm calling Nicole. Hey, can you come get me? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm ready. So she texts me. I'm in the driveway. Did you know her name? Huh? Hey, lady. Yeah. At the house I live in. Yeah. Can you come back? Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. Yeah. Right. With, with what the, is this Wayne's World? <laughs> what are we doing now? I just went with nondescript lady. <laughs> Brian's over there with actual names. Man, I think your wife should question you a little bit more. <laughs> Don't play this part for her. Yeah, yeah. Because we know uh, you're just. I tell you what, you timestamp this, but you take it on your own dime. All right, that's fine. You can timestamp it. <laughs> so, this edit is on the house. All right, <laughs> the house that screams Sandra into the microphone. It's on that house. <laughs> So Wait, hold on, I'm going to scroll through his social media to look at where Sandra's that <laughs> seven Sandras into recent search history. What is this? <laughs> That's going to be hard to narrow it down, yeah. but I'll do it. All right, so you call Nicole. <laughs> so I call her. She comes over. And gets me. Seriously, I was back home <laughs> in my house before eleven upstairs, and then I, I ended up. I took a shower because I was standing by the fire. So I was like, you know, I don't want to go to. So did that. So I was in bed by like ten after eleven. You know. Um, oh, you were outside, like at a bonfire, kind of thing? yeah, yeah. All right. Jeremy's got a. Uh, like, I was just standing at the fire, uh, no, and I watched got, the people burn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like there's a really weird was, turn there. I was at an arson scene, <laughs> getting hammered, <laughs> and uh, they're like, "Who's this guy?" Hey, I don't hey, know. Could you call that lady lives in my house. Yeah. I want to go home now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm all out of matches and gasoline. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, uh, I. I was I was in bed and I was probably asleep by eleven eleven. You know what I mean? So it was, it was oh, you could make a wish. Oh no, oh, no. <laughs> so it was pretty funny, man. But uh, but that was that was my night. So in in essence, when I come out of the liquor store, that my wife parks out front and waits for me. Was, was it a Fisher Price with the store? children in the car? You know, so it's great dad. <laughs> Got my bag. You know what's in there? I don't know. You know, <laughs> but um, I hand her my money clip because I don't need it. Because I'm dressed for the occasion, so it's like you know, like like basketball shorts. So 
I'll keep a I'll keep yeah, a you, cell phone you dress in my pocket for either suicide or drinking root beer schnapps. <laughs> there was no other option. Yeah, yeah I, I I thought that was the attire for root beer schnapps. <laughs> so, but sadness. Uh, I, I thought, what would a back road teenage version of me wear? <laughs> Basketball shorts. <laughs> yeah, and no money. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I gave her the. I put it in her purse. Well, now this morning, of course, when I go to my drawer to get it out to come here, uh, it's not there, and she's already at the Alzheimer's thing. So. Hence this story that got me nowhere, right? That's why. So I'm driving here, and like if the light goes yellow, I'm like, I'm stopping. I'm stop- I'm like causing a 12 car pileup behind oh, me. Oh, you don't think that you could, <clears throat> uh, officer? I don't have my identification because I was drunk eight hours ago, <laughs> and my wife still has my ID. Yeah, yeah, because I should not be legally operating this vehicle <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, um, but it was. I think it was overall it was worth it. It was. It was totally. Worth you had a good it. time. I had. A, I had a good time, and uh, I don't remember a lot of what I did. And what I said, which is good, because when I remember stuff I say and do, I usually have to apologize afterwards. So it's pretty pretty solid. I think I did okay. Yeah. I really hope someone was recording you. <laughs> well, it, it's weird that you said that because on Monday, I got a text from Andrew. Comedy Andrew. You remember Andrew? Yes. He's the one that convinced me to go see Pauly Shore. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was he was upset. He said I, I exaggerated some of that Pauly Shore story and, and that I was the only one that didn't like Pauly Shore. Like, no, I... I didn't think I needed to say everyone walking out of there hated it. I think that was just a like a given. Yeah. Like I didn't think I needed to be like, and Andrew hated it, and the other people with us hated it, and everyone hated it. <laughs> like we get it. It was bad. But he's like, hey, we haven't hung out in a while. Well, you want to do some my shirt? He's like, well, we're free Wednesday nights. He, he and his wife. And I was like, well, it's, it's Monday. That's pretty quick. I guess we can wrap. We can fire that up. But I go there and we got we got pizza and mm-hmm. because he got my favorite pizza and I was like. I'm trying to get better. Like I promised myself this week was the week. Like, okay, I'm I'm done with all this, you know, screwing around. I got to get back on my plan. And then yeah. it's like, we're gonna get uh, Aurelio's Pizza, not sponsored, but call me. Right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> not sponsored, but I like shirts. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Fat, I'll go back to fat for you guys. I tell you. <laughs> yeah. But so he's like, we're gonna get that. I'm like, oh, I can't turn that down. So we go there, and I'm not gonna tell his story. It's his story. But somehow we he had ordered two pizzas, but we ended up with four. Ooh. So I, I took one home with me. So that that's, that's a solid it. party bonus. Yeah. Yeah. But we're there and he's it's uh he's he's fixing himself a, a beverage. Mm-hmm. Not a not a natty light, but in that wheelhouse. Oh and uh yeah. I feel bad. I see a he has some bottles there and I see a, an alcohol that's been uh advertised in some of the podcasts he listen to. Not this one, but call yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll throw it down. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I want to try that. And it was uh, uh peanut butter whiskey. Mm. Okay, now, yeah, now these, in the store, I saw stuff like it was, that. Yeah, it was, was it good? Yeah, it, it was screwball, <clears throat> peanut butter whiskey. And okay. They, they were both like, just try it over ice. Just have a little bit, sip it. You needed to try it because it, yeah. it's mind-blowing. Not saying like, hey, you're, you're going to become an alcoholic. You're going to love it. But it, right. it's so weird how good and smooth this tastes. And I was, like, they, but, I was like, come on. So I pour a little bit and I was like, oh, well, this is fantastic. I might have a little. So it was weird that the same week that I haven't yeah. had a drink in, like, in a long time. And then suddenly, like, we're both, we're, I guess, Guys were off the wagon. I guess what we're telling everyone. Well, I guess. Well, and not that I was ever on the wagon not, for, yeah. for drinking, uh, but and, yeah, but and not sponsored. But radio yeah. flyer, please yeah. call us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are they still around? <laughs> hey, if they got money, I'll, I'll take it. I don't care. Just even Cuba Gooding Jr. He was in the movie. <laughs> just call. Just call. I don't care. Um, no, well, isn't that how your kids got you across the street <laughs> yeah. in the radio flyer? Yeah. I think his his head's dragging. Just keep pulling. No one <laughs> makes like, it lighter when he's halfway no one out likes of it. That part yeah. of him anyway. <laughs> He's face down. I don't care. It's Good. not gravel. It's called improvement. It's not gravel. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. My thought was, though, when you were saying peanut butter whiskey, because I did see, I don't know if it was whiskey, but it was something peanut butter flavor. Yeah. And I was like, first off, I'm like, I'm down to to chug whatever I have. Yeah. Um, I, I've never, like, grabbed a jar of peanut butter and be like, I am so going to annihilate this jar of peanut butter, <laughs> you know? So I got that. Now, what if Coke made jelly-flavored Coke? Then you could make a delicious sandwich, right? That's that's interesting. I think we. I think right now I brought a business idea today, which I'm going to get into after we do yeah. our sponsorship. Okay, but I want to table this. Brian, would you be in on jelly flavored soda pop to go with? Now we could do grape or strawberry, whatever you prefer. It's weird, but it has to be. I think you're. you're but you're closer <clears throat> to the Coke because I think Andrew said he tried to do that with grape something, and it just tasted like cough syrup. Gotcha. So okay. I think with the Coke, though, the Coke, because, you know. The Coke would have like, to put the, t- the hint in, the tint in yeah, there. Like, you know, it, just, like the Jack and Coke a, right. reminiscent, but it has just the right. overlying flavor of a PB&J. So, again, Ted, go ahead and give your line. We're not sponsored, but. Call me. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. Go, we're Coke, golden. Hey, if Coke wants to sponsor us. <laughs> yeah. 
We're in the money. Yeah. Yeah. And the good Coke. The kind yeah, we're yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah. green to good use. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We might be able to give your sheet back to your mom. Yeah, right. like, so you have a major bed in weeks. Yeah. Look, we got a Coke sponsorship. You it's just get, shut up, mom. Yeah, it's getting crisp outside. She might want this top sheet <laughs> yeah. back. Yeah. Can we can we put the fan in the window? <laughs> I'm going to bring the sheet home from work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mac, you are a terrible person. All right. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> we do, as, as Ted mentioned, we do. We have a sponsorship again this week. Um, honestly, it's um, well. We texted each other when I when I, I sent you the screenshot because, of course, my wife my wife runs our our website, right? And she's on. I, if you look at the website, she can tell you what you looked at. Every, I mean, she's all over it. Um, so we got a sponsorship. She sent it to me, and she goes, "I don't know this particular person." And I looked at the name. I knew it right away. I knew who it was. Right. And and I said, well, he's somebody who who knows Ted, works with Ted. And I said, and they're friends. And I said, I immediately became friends with him when I determined that his— Wait, I don't know who's spreading these lies. I, yeah. I work with him. That part yeah. was right. <laughs> but I, I immediately became—he uh, became a hero of mine when I realized that your demise <laughs> was just as important to him as it is to me. So so we yeah. are we bonded instantly. Yeah. It's a little premature for this, but that checks out. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel, I do feel like we, we, we really know each other. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, now was he okay with me giving his last name? Cause I did yeah, not ask yeah. you that. Okay. That's yeah, fine. So, so the sponsorship, it comes from Eric Williamson. Okay. Now he, it's going to be Eric Williamson and the members at the, now is it kazoo or kazoo? It, that I, I, that was the only thing I meant to clarify with him, and I didn't. Yeah, but because, I feel like it would be Kazu. I think it's Kazu because it's capital K Zoo Whisker Crew. Because it's talking about Kalamazoo, Michigan. Right. So, but I don't know if it's but, Kazu because we've done Kazu stuff, it, right? For me, it flows better if it's Kazu. But I, yeah, either way. But I hate. But see, Kazu, I think you'd have an A in there somewhere. So yeah. I just I'm I'll, gonna I'm I'll gonna, tell you this. I'll confirm with Eric. He will get another shout out next week. We will confirm which yeah. one it is. Yeah, we we will definitely land this. Um, but anyway, he, he actually has, it's, it's K, the letter K, the word zoo, whiskercrew.org. Okay. That's his beard group. That's his beard group in Michigan. So yeah. if you have a beard and you, you're looking like, Hey, I need to be in a group. Okay. Mac, they're not taken. Okay. They're not hiring right now. But anyway, if you're not Mac and you're looking to get in a part of an organization and you have a beard, this is probably your best bet. I would say, yeah, right? go check out the website. They, they have some very impressive beards. So he actually, he designed the logo. Yeah. And the website himself. So, which I, my wife did ours because I could, you have it on the screen? Not yet. What's are it you, called? Are you work? Okay. Wait a minute now. Does this count as Googling it for me or are you yes. Googling it for Eric Williamson? Yeah. Either way, that's not me. So. <clears throat> what, what are the eyes rolling for? <laughs> it's not, K. I'm, oh, so it's for me. K. Oh. Zoo Whisker Crew. Yeah. Dot K org. Zoo Whisker Crew dot org. All right. Um, and by the way, the note he sent you that you copied and sent to me, yeah. I really liked it because it said to tell Damon he needs to keep coming up with business ideas. So that right there, Eric, again, I, 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 I love your support. Okay. Are you, what? It, it was on the screen, but I think he's putting it behind us now. <laughs> oh, uh, he's doing the yeah, I think it's back no. here now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so I will keep doing the names and apparently he poaches the names. Yeah. He, he, so, he, he, <clears throat> Shaman is probably the smartest of all of us because he goes and takes the uh, domain names, spends the ninety nine cents for the domain name, yeah. yeah, yeah, squats on them, and so then we would have to buy them back if we ever yeah. want to use. So these. apparently, if I want Shaman Eggs or like the the reclaim your name or nameclear dot com, I, I have yeah. to go to him. Yeah. Um. So we're already business partners, apparently. Okay. So then he actually, he actually threw out. That he, because he's in Kalamazoo, right? Is what you said in that area. Well, I, I assume if that's where his whisker <clears throat> yeah, crew is. Yeah, sure. he's he, he's in that area. So he has a Kalamapoo.com. This was good. I actually want to be in on I, this I, one. I, I did. What? Yes. Please go. No, ahead. No, you do not. <laughs> You've never taken a business. You know what? Then, if you like this one, wait to hear mine oh, after this. There are kazoo's there, right? Is there is there kazoo's? That oh, looks so, like a, that's like a Game of Thrones chair made out of kazoo's. Yeah, so maybe so this, this kazoo. This could be a. This could be. You got to check this out. Everybody, go to go to K. The letter K, zoo, whiskercrew.org, all right? And just see what this is about. Because first off, it was very humbling to have them sponsor an episode. Yeah. Um, second off, um, it's a pretty cool-looking website. Yeah. So on swag. I want to yeah. see what we can order from yeah, yeah. the Yeah, It uh, looks K like uh, they have all from kinds the of different whisker stuff. Crew. They are far more advanced but, than we are with our website. Oh, so my God. We may need yeah. some tips. Oh, look <laughs> so, at that. So, um, but I want you, a wooden nickel. How yeah. much does that cost? I want <laughs> it, that. It, it should be a nickel. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Well, you're you're too young, child. Yeah. 
All right, so going on to his, his so, other idea, which so I think has, is fantastic. It's Kalamapoo, okay? And he says Kalamapoo.com. It's a business in Kalamazoo, Michigan, that sells poop bags for dogs that'll go on collars or leashes, okay? So he wants yep. to see if I have a spin for it. Now, I like this premise. What I don't like is he's pigeonholed himself into, like, one area. I don't think he has to, though. Okay. Because you, we buy Hershey chocolate. That's some Hershey, Pennsylvania. You don't right. buy it just in Hershey. <clears throat> but but here's the deal. What if he had? What if that was the parent company, and he had several other companies, much like we run our podcast, um, and he had shit Chicago, okay, which, honestly, that could be several different meanings, okay, or Poonsylvania, uh, that, that that's one, a whole state. Uh, that one's a good one. That's sure. a whole state. Now I will tell you, I got four letters into Googling that and you don't want that no, name. No, no. Yeah, you don't nope. want that name. So you, you're gonna back out. Um, but I'm thinking we could we could play off that and we could grow this. I do see what you're saying, and uh where it could be just out of that town, and yeah. that could be it. Um it just becomes what the, the town just becomes famous for poo. I'm sure <clears> they'd be fine with it. Well, I <laughs> I got I gotta think they're on board. Right. Um, the other thing, maybe what you do is all of the bags they send have a return label, return to sender. So then it goes back to the factory there, and it, that's what they're known for then as they collect it. Maybe they could turn it into natural fertilizer and then— Correct. Yeah. Correct. From like a schnauzer. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'm yeah. sure that shipping companies would, would love to have that in there. <laughs> I'm not familiar What's with, the opposite of fragile? <laughs> I'm not familiar with any of any of the shipping companies yeah, in this what's country. What's the opposite but. of fragile? Imagine smashing that down into an envelope and just sending it back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I tell you what, when, when people ship stuff, they're very careful. Yeah. <laughs> they never bring in boxes with 19 pieces of tape on top and one yeah. piece on the bottom and go, it should be fine. I will tell you right now, if I put it in an envelope, it's going to be ones that self-seal because I'm not licking the envelope <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, but uh, but that anyway, doesn't so, taste like root beer. So I do want to say, uh, Eric, Eric, and the entire K, um, Kazoo Kazoo Whisker Crew. I have to figure out how to say that. I, the, and and next, we're plugging on next thing. week. Yeah. I, so Kazoo, so Eric and the Kazoo Whisker Crew. All right, thank you very much. And uh, we need. Uh, I also have to assume that the Whisker Crew is probably just finding out about this. Yeah, yeah they're like, we did what now? Yeah. Uh, we that are not, yeah. Eric just got voted out of the Whisker yeah. Crew. Hey, remember what we were going to pay you for the logo? You're taking <laughs> so, the money yeah, out yeah. of that. I, I shouldn't tag them in this post. Right. <laughs> go right ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go yeah. ahead and tag them because yeah. uh, I feel like- uh, All 18 people will see it. Yeah, I feel like if next week uh, we're helping pay Eric's medical bills, it's because we, no, <laughs> we threw him under if, the bus. If the numbers bounce up because he tagged it, Hey, hey we'll just call this the Kazoo Whisker Crew. That checks out, podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Kazoo Whisker Crew studio here at, here at Audio Hive. Welcome to the Kazoo Whisker Crew side of the table hey, we, at Audio Hive. We can put podcast. on a wing. We can put on a wing that has a hot tub. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Huh? Judging by their merch, they'll have a banner up outside <laughs> really fast. <laughs> nice. We can take that corner spot down at the end of the building, Brian. Yeah. We're I, moving hey, up. I, I like this. I really like this a lot. However, you know why you'd really like it and why you'd really like it? Because if he's the one that kicks our podcast into overdrive, I would never hear the end of it. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Ted. Hey, Ted. I got a question for you. Oh, is it work-related? No, no, no. It's about how much you owe me. <laughs> hey, I knew I liked him. I knew I liked him. So, Eric, I appreciate that. And uh, and Oh, he <clears throat> he will probably mock you because he, he likes a good uh, dark... Heavy liquor, as opposed to oh, your like, oh for sure, I, not listen, your not your dad's root beer. I'm getting I'm getting mocked by seventeen year olds that really know yeah. the game way better than me right now. So I get it, I get it. If they listen, I don't know that's our target audience. I don't, I don't, I don't know what our target audience I think, is. Uh, I think uh, seventy. I thought we were just kind of throwing shit in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well now now you can throw it in a bag. So now you can throw Kalamazoo. it in a bag and ship it to bag yeah. to Kalamazoo. Yeah. That's what you do. You throw yeah. it in a bag. Now we got yeah. plans. It's not in the wind anymore. Well, I guess you could. You could do it you by air. Do it, yeah. it doesn't have to be ground. Right. It could be air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, there's your business premise. So here's the deal. If you boost our podcast, I will give you back. Uh, I'm, Of course, I am 51% in this company since I promoted it like this. So you're 49% shareholder. I will give you back 2% to make you, um, you know, the 51% shareholder. Oh, you're giving him 51%. I will give it back to him. Yeah. Right now, I, I have yeah, it. Yeah, right now, it's I, sure, I have sure, it. Sure, yeah, sure. I have it. So he may own the name, but I'm the face of the franchise I guarantee here. that we, he probably already has the domain. And yeah. When it comes to collecting dog poo, I got to be the face of the franchise, yeah, I think. You know I what think I mean? So. Yeah. So I don't see how it doesn't work out. Probably already has uh, merch like scoopers. <laughs> My face on them. You just yeah. scoop it right in. <laughs> oh, you're bald, but then we just scoop it up like the dirt yeah, makes yeah. the hair. <laughs> yeah. If you can get to his headband that says not a ninja, that means you're going to need a bigger envelope when you send it to us. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that so, would be great. Have little lines on the scooper to tell you what size envelope you need. Right. <laughs> oh, you're going to need a large. Oh, someone's putting three stamps on this turd. Ooh, that's going to a box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have upgraded the box. Box, do you own a pony? <laughs> yeah. Did they tell you it was a great thing? Yeah. They lied. Yeah. <laughs> half wiener dog, half great Dane. <laughs> it's only like th- three foot tall, but it, it shits like a horse. <laughs> All we're, right, so are, well, we're gonna have to put a disclaimer in the front of this episode. Yeah, yeah, we used the word shit a couple times. Right, oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's another one. Well, either that we could have Brian. But yeah, Brian go back and some feces. Yeah, some feces. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it to edit the, last week's t- to take out? Uh, the place of Brian's work was at Brian later. And he's like, wait a minute. Well, we told him when we were recording too. It's probably, it's always a bad idea to mention an actual name of something, unless it's a great company idea. Like I just came up with with Kalamapoo, then, then it's a good idea. You know what I mean? Oh, so are we taking out Coke and, uh, <laughs> no, call Boone's us. Farm? Call us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call us. <laughs> call us. <laughs> so, uh, so can I go into my business idea now? Oh, sure. Okay. Why hey, not? we just had a killer one. I got another one. This one combines driver's ed and Uber, okay? Because it's very hard to get kids all their time behind the wheel, but people need rides everywhere. So what we do is your monitored hours can come from the person sitting in the back seat. Follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the business model. Here's what it looks like. Any parent can put their permitted, their driver permitted, 15 or 16-year-old son or daughter behind the wheel of their family vehicle and allow them to pick up complete strangers for money. Okay, so in turn, the drivers will have an app on their phone that they can choose which child they'd like to ride with. Okay, probably based on age, sure, looks, you know, whatever. Do we put any kind of okay. skill in there? Do we, <clears throat> we'll have no at all if they've no. had some hours or no? No, all right. I don't think the people that are doing this are worried about their driving skills. You know what I mean? They need a ride. I think you would have used this they need a ride. last night at around 10.50. They need a ride. Oh, no, I, I'm going to get to, I spawned off in the driveway last night. That, my that, business that's idea a, that's off a phrase of this. I don't I spawned off. No. So I'm going through this first, okay? So basically, they're going to choose that. What I call it is barely legal ride share. Okay. All right. See, so, you, you but almost as always, had me. Hey, you I'm open. almost had me. I'm open. I'm open to naming I was going to let this one go. I was going to be like, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll silently support it. But you had to go there, and now I'm out. What? That's they're not legal. They're permitted. They're barely legal. Yeah, no out. ride share. Yeah, out. it's it's young men and women that you can choose I through an app. You, every you time be. you come up with an app business idea, I need you to go to Urban Dictionary and yeah. put in every idea you have for names. Yeah, and then if you get <laughs> one hit, just one hit, I'm out. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh well, God, this yeah. one, this one's not. This is three different words together, so that's not nothing. I'm sure that something would have come up. I don't think so. All right. So now here's here's the. Here's where I start to sell you Shark Tank-wise. You ready? Now, imagine the complete rush of watching your driver merge onto the highway for the first time while the Mission Impossible music is playing at teenager set decibels. So it's going to be really loud, right? Um, that's a rush, okay? That's a rush because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. Have they ever done this before? You don't know. It's it, it's a rush. It's playing on all I, your senses. I don't like all the pronouns you're using now. It's, it's playing on all, use that, yeah, uh, it's playing on all your senses. Title. Or, or Ted, Mac, if you stop looking at your phone. Juice he's box. trying to support us. <laughs> he's trying to support us. Desperately. <laughs> or the hilarity, <laughs> or the hilarity of watching them turn left at a busy intersection with no arrow, right? Where there's a row of people behind them just beeping and cussing and swearing. But in the background, you have the Benny Hill theme song going. Get yakety sax in the back. Yeah, so you're just you're, you're you're doing the whole you're doing the whole you know the Benny Hill. Da, 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 da. That's awesome because yeah. you you again it's a teenager decibel, so you don't hear everything. You're just watching it happen around you. The frustration of the driver, the frustration of the people behind him. It's amazing. You're gonna take all this in. It's it's a, like it's for all the senses. You know what I mean? It's it's and it's pure entertainment that you're paying for. That you're paying for. Now you know what the kids getting out of it? A learning experience with a complete stranger in a car. What's wrong with that? It's weird that you're selling me all of the parts I didn't really care about. Like, I was fine with you endangering lives of the teenagers yeah. and the humans in back. I was fine with that. It's the title I have a problem with. Okay. Well, so here's the deal. It, we can change it. We can change a title. We can do barely legal something else. So here's what I'm telling you. What, what happens, here's the real spiff on it. You ready? Here's where it goes. You're at that stoplight. All this is happening. What happens next? The guy in the back gets pissed, right? He gets angry. He says, damn it. Just get out. I'm driving. What happens when he starts driving? It becomes a driving instructing school. 
Now he's teaching the kid. Now you're now the parents are on the hook to pay for the kid's learning experience in the family car. Wait, but now the guy's driving? Yeah. Well, that doesn't count. It does. No, they don't, they don't get hours for that. That doesn't count. No, he's learning. It's an instructing school now. So the parents are paying. That's right. what I'm saying. So you're winning. You're cashing in twice on this. First, when your kid drives some stranger around in, in your family car without you in there. But secondly, when the, the stranger, said stranger, gets in the front seat and takes control of the situation and starts driving your car with your child in it. Yeah, so this, that's that's yeah. a that's a learning experience you're going to pay for. Even more out. Huh? Even more out. No, I'm being serious. Now, now I'm calling the authorities on you. But it's a drive it, that becomes a driving instructing school. No, it doesn't. It's two that's businesses not how in one. Instructive school works. It's two Are you kidding me right now? That guy's going to show him how to turn left at that intersection. That's not how a school for in driving instruction works. I I don't think you when know took, how that works. When we took driver's instruction did yeah. our teacher sit in the driving seat? No, they sat in the seat next to us. Well, yeah, but they had an extra brake. You're going to ask people to put an extra brake pedal in all their cars? Okay. They still didn't drive the car. I just poked a hole in your theory. No, you didn't. Yeah. No. So are you in? No. Why not? It's dumb, and the title's awful. That's why I'm out. Mac? I'm usually more discreet, discreet about it, but I'm just coming straight out. When I was in driver's ed, the teacher had me take his lawnmower to the repair shop. Oh, I had the driver's ed guy fall hey. asleep, and we ended up in Dwight. Okay. <laughs> Uh, killer story, bro. Are you in? No. <laughs> no? Are I'm you being gonna, serious? I, I wasn't paying attention, so I'm just going to assume tell me, that. Please tell me some of you stopped listening when he wanted to call it barely legal, whatever. I, yeah. Right chair. Yeah. Barely legal right chair. <laughs> yeah, that's when he was out. Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? No. The app would have millions no. of downloads. Oh, yeah, yeah no, because no. a bunch of people would be going there mistakenly. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have a lot of people. Like, Are you being serious? <laughs> that you anger a lot of people, a lot of really gross people. Yes, I'm serious. I don't about think that. I would anger any of those people. Oh, you would. They would get a ride, maybe to go see some Velio. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that Uber ride. I don't even have to pay for. I don't even have to worry about it. I can go to Voyo, have my Froyo, right, and then get a ride home. Yo, no. <laughs> and, and, I threw in the last yo. And, How'd and, that work? And no. <sighs> you you should... guys are really serious. Oh. This seems like dead a, serious. This seems because you need like two hundred hours of like behind the wheel shit right now. You can't do that. What you you need a lot of hours behind the wheel. You do when you only needed like twenty, and I think I know nineteen and a half of them. <laughs> I know you're you're correct. You're correct, but they need a lot of hours of driving, and it's just amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, so I think this 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 can't I, I lose. Think it, I think it's good to give them a lot of hours of driving. Probably not with strangers. Probably not. With strangers who think that they're going to get something else besides a car ride. What, like a coffee? Yeah. Oh. oh. If we're talking about earlier code, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. That's fine. Well, just so you know, my my spawn off from this, which you may be in on. Mac, you need to pay attention to this one. I think you'll like this. Last night when my wife dropped me off and I said, hey, I'll call you when I need a ride later. And I said, I'm going to call my boober. Because here's the deal. Guess what she has, and guess what she was doing. Now, we're not talking about birds, are we? <laughs> no. No. So, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. What about a boober where when they pick you up, they're topless? And that's how they're driving you. Now, my wife was not because my kids were in the car. But I'm just saying, what? are you Googling to see if it works? No, he's... Uh... Those are birds. <laughs> that's a bird? That's called a boober? No, it's called a booby. Oh, yeah, that's called, yeah. No, that, don't be childish about it. This is a boober. <laughs> this is a drive with a girl with no shirt on. Oh, okay. Or it could be a guy. Could be a guy, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, that, that was going to be my, my, my rebuttal. It, yeah. I don't care as long as it's Yeah, but it's I, I really feel like, yeah, you'd have to tint the windows really bad so the other drivers wouldn't be distracted. So it kind of be like a surprise. Like when you get in the car, you're like, <gasps> Oh, and you could pay extra to sit in the front seat. You could pay extra. Well, to go, no, you no. could pay extra to go over no. the train tracks. You could pay extra to take the frontage road. No, no, no. Mac, nothing. Uh, I mean, it sounds fun, but so so <laughs> is that maybe? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think why you're so. <laughs> I got so excited because I'm like, he is. He's the, in. The the funny thing is, is that every time we say no, that means you don't have to. Uh, Split your profits from these, yet you get so disappointed because any you startup want capital. A startup capital. Any startup capital. Yeah. So, okay, listen. Would you donate to that charity of Boober? I don't. I don't see how it's a charity. Yeah. What? <laughs> so, Sounds pretty so for if, profit if, to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of surprised <laughs> this hasn't been done. Yeah, you know, because you know Hooters had a had an airline at one point. What? Yeah. 
Ooh, <laughs> you, so you're thinking I should do Did an airline? Did fly Uber? the airplanes too? <laughs> Yep. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they couldn't make that work, I don't see how this guy is going to make topless uh, Uber drivers. Well, an airline can't land on the corner of First no, and Main no. and pick you up. Do you, can you, like, can you specify, like, what if they've had, like, surgery to enhance their chest? Now, do they drive for Lyft? <laughs> <laughs> hey, first off, Lyft's already taken, so I can't do that. That was, hey, that was solid. Thank you. So, so you're back in. Just for that joke. <laughs> You only use my business ideas for jokes. <laughs> oh, that's being charitable to yeah. them as well. <laughs> All right. All Is right. this your uh, who's who pays for this internet? Because I I want to know like where the search history goes to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might have to explain Sandra and Boober <laughs> to. <laughs> that was a pregame warm up joke. <laughs> um. So, all right. So, honestly, there's nothing, <laughs> nothing with the, nothing with the ride share. No, I'm, at I'm, all. I'm fine, thank you. What if we renamed it? The premise is good. <laughs> so, what if we renamed it? I, I just, really thought I had I you. Just wanna you put have kids to re- in cars with strangers. Too. You have to rename it because it's taken. <laughs> it's taken by a guy in Kalamazoo. Because I'm gonna be so pissed right now. Uh, <laughs> well, what if you put with a U? Yeah, I did it with a U. And oh, like the yeah, okay. with the umlaut. Hold on. Can you type an umlaut into the <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I did it. I did it with a U. What if, wait, I what? just took Uber and put a B in front of it. I could even hyphenate it. B Uber. Boober. I could do it. I'm serious. I know uh, that's what scares me. All right, so I here's the deal. Serious. So that, that I know you're not kidding. so so <laughs> that could be let's just go back to the other one then. The one where the kids are actually learning something, getting something out of it. Well, when we get to that one, you let me know. <laughs> You guys suck so bad. <laughs> oh, I was not. I was not prepared were, seriously for two no's. Did, did you? At what point in the schnapps bottle did you come up with either one of these? Ideas? No, I had all this written down before then. The, the boomer <laughs> thing was afterwards. Yeah. yeah, that was afterwards. That was uh, that was that was solid. That was solid afterwards. Yeah. So I, I was sitting there by the fire, and they're like, "What are you doing in your phone?" I'm like, uh, "Putting down some notes. I got an idea." Here. I am clearing yeah. search history. <laughs> What would you call it? Incognito. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Incognito mode. Um, all right. Well, I just think people will buy stuff like that. I think people will do it. Oh, that, I, I have no doubt people will buy stuff like and that. And that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be associated with those people. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> wow. I like feel you can so... make a lot of money moving drugs. I don't want to be a drug dealer. So... I understand. No, and I'm not doing that. I'm helping children and teach them how to drive. So... It's a, it's a it's a win win. It's a win win. Honestly, now, see, you could say you named it after this guy, Martin Buber. That's a real guy, but he died yeah. in 1965. Yeah, that's fine. I'm saying that you could yeah, spin no. it that you were naming it after a religious thinker and political activist. <laughs> Who believes educator. you should be shirtless while right. driving a, a motor vehicle? It's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow <laughs> Damon 316 says Take that shirt off And drive that vehicle Through town Hey work for Steve Austin Why can't you <laughs> Yeah That's why I chose 316 yeah, I, I did I went there Probably the only one you knew <laughs> I know there's one With a 3 and a 16 in it yeah. <laughs> Probably a 1 and a 1 Somewhere What's the 163 I don't know You put them in the wrong order Just move the de- <laughs> Just move the colon You're good that, That's a highway in Alabama You want to be on <laughs> That's the 163 Lots of accidents on that there, 163. <laughs> they got no shirts on. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. No, I just, like I said, I think people would buy in. I think people would do that. I think the advertising would be amazing. I, I can't believe you're out, and that's fine. I'll find other people that want to do this yeah. stuff. I'll I, be honest I, with you. I have told you, if you make mm. these businesses successful, I welcome your success. I wish you well. I want no part of it. So you want me off the podcast. You want me to be successful, so I'm off the podcast. Is that what well, you're saying? I got I need a few calls from Coke and uh, <laughs> Aurelio's. Hey, so true story. While you were talking a second ago, before I got into this, I got a text message. And luckily this week, I turned my phone off. I turned the ring off. Um, <clears throat> I just got a so text So you're going to hear some of the stuff when you re- no. re-listen to this. You're going to hear some of the stuff I said earlier. Correct. Saying? No, but I, I got a message that apparently I'm not the only one who did not do well in the weight, <laughs> in the weight, weight competition this week. I can't see the number, but uh, it, it looks like it starts with a three. Yeah. Well, and it does, and, and, and it is what it is. But um, 
Yeah, I got a message. I've really thought, I'm like, man, I'm going to owe some money to Carly this week. No, we're both throwing $10 more in. <laughs> and uh, What kind of pizza did you get while we're um, on this subject? Uh, it wasn't pizza worth eating. It, it, it was, was it just, actually Pizza Hut? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, well, was. you didn't get pizza then. No, but I got stuffed crust. That's the only thing I like from there, yeah. and I, so I did that. You can just get mozzarella sticks. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, can I get uh, really expensive mm-hmm. mozzarella sticks that yeah. surround yeah. some garbage? Yeah. Hey, well, I don't want to. See, now you're bad. Call us. Call us. <laughs> yeah, call us. We can. But uh, no, but, you want to. You know what? What's funny is I also had Pizza Hut earlier this week. Did you? I just had some bread. Sticks, it's it's so. not a necessity. Yeah, yeah. but that's it, it. Was right there. You know what's funny? It's hey, nostalgic every now and then. It must be where I live, Ted. You know how I go to the gas station and I'm like, yeah. and they Do put you just in, like put ac- in your zip accidentally code. live in a commercial zone. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you can't live here, sir. Why do you keep saying? Why that? do you live in a warehouse? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no. It, what's what's weird is so I met my buddy Jeremy's who is literally like as close as I am to the gas station. He is to the Pizza Hut. So I call and I place the order and I go, it's for delivery. Okay. And so they go, okay, it'll be an hour. We only have one driver. Cool. He drives past this house every time he leaves the place. Is there a possibility that it won't be an hour? Oh, it'll be an hour. Cool. (laughs) I could almost walk over there and walk back. I know I couldn't (laughs) in the condition I was in, you know. Um, but I was just, I was just laughing. I'm like, you're right there. It was the whole gas station thing all over again. It's like, you're right there. Hang up your phone. I'm going to yell my order to you. You know what I mean? (laughs) And you bring it out when you're ready. And, and that's just, it's like so weird in my sub. Nobody, I think it's the day and age we live in where it's like someone's stealing your identity. Somebody's this, somebody's that. I live right here. I'm right here. Don't ask me, you know, how are you paying? We're paying cash. Oh, like they don't, nobody takes cash anymore. Yeah. I know a guy. (laughs) <laughs> who used to live across the street from a pizza place. Yeah. And he uh, called and started ordering. Like, oh, we're, we're, not, we're not open. We're closed. I'm like, I, I can see your sign from here. <laughs> it says that you're open. <laughs> and then they went and turned it off. And I was like, I, I just saw you turn it off. <laughs> like, that, that's, a real, that's a real ballsy move you did there. I applaud you. <laughs> I'm not going to order from you because clearly I don't want whatever you're going to put in an oven right now. But Wow. That, that happened? Oh, yeah. Wow. I knew that guy. He, he looked a lot like me. <laughs> He lived across the street from a place called Marshalloni's, which I feel I can say because it doesn't exist there yeah. anymore. He likes pizza. Yeah, <laughs> he likes pizza. He was going to walk over and get it. I mean, he wasn't going to make him drive it over, but <laughs> wouldn't it, that sucks too? They're like, you, the, you know where that house is. You know, yeah. I could literally look out and go like, yeah, it, but it says you're open, and it literally, I hear the, I hear the footsteps in the phone. I hear, and then <laughs> the light goes on. Like, oh, you, that's dirty. Well played, sir. Yeah, well, well played. played. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. No, I never thought about it. You were right across the way. Yeah, right yeah. There. That sign probably kept you up at night yeah. in your bedroom. Window. Well, like, the, I would man. smell the, the hash browns at McDonald's in, in the mornings. <laughs> How, Ted, how'd you get fat? Well, I lived downwind of a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and upstream but, of, the, yeah. Uh, of the local well, pizza, pizza place. place right. Um, but but they at that, t- at that point in time, and again, we used cash back then. Yeah. Because that's what we did. But I got a story for that. They Just went yesterday. They wouldn't ask your zip code. They no. wouldn't. Ask, hey, so where do you live? What's your the only place it did? Remember Radio Shack when they were in business? Oh yeah, yeah. You go in there to buy a battery, and they're like, "Hey, what's your zip code? Hey, what's your sign? And uh, how many kids do you well, have?" And we you, do that. You, well, now yeah, you do it's that, more really? prevalent. Mm-hmm. No kidding. I do that to yeah, see, like, remember what, you interrupted the process that one time. Well, no, I you just don't know what you you're couldn't pay to. attention. Yeah, so, yeah. sir. I'm sorry. You needed to stay focused on your job. Sir, what was that? Was that number again? What are you doing over there? I'm sorry, sir. Was there a nine? I didn't. I wasn't. No, put that down, sir. I, I am so sorry. I'm just going to put in the local zip code. Is that fine? Yeah, yeah you live here now. Um, well, it's weird. I mean, I, I get it where he works because I, I know some places used to do that. Like, I don't understand now. I know in the 90s and the early 2000s, they did that to see where people are coming from. So they okay. can say, like, do you do we need to store in that location? Right. Are enough people coming from this zip code area that we can maybe expand sense. there? Yeah. When we were in Wilmington and Radio Shack would ask that, like, where do you think I came from? Right. This is a Radio Shack in Wilmington. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I'm from Paris. Yeah. I flew over because you have the finest selection. <laughs> because my of CB radio, radio wasn't yeah. working. I needed something for my yeah, ham I'm antenna. I'm from Hazard County. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to do whip antenna for my for my Dodge. Now watch me whip and watch me <laughs> nay. <nay-nay. laughs> yeah. Oh, no. but yesterday I was at I was working and uh I was at a large chain location because our our locations are sometimes in these chain right. locations. Yeah. And the this guy waited in line. I don't know. Only two lines were open. The self serve, you know, because now they try to push everything through self serve. But mm-hmm. those were all open. But the they only had two cashiers, and the line was really long. Line was really long. He gets up there. He's like, "Do you take cash?" And the guy's like, "What?" He's like, "Do you, do you take cash?" And he's like, 
yes, we do. And the guy was like, oh, okay. He's like, so you just want this one? And he bought like a pack of gum, but he couldn't go through the self-serve because they've turned all the cash accepting things off of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we had to go through that. I was like, man, that sucks. Yeah. Like, just go to the <clears throat> gas station or something, buddy. Like, why did why was it so important for you to wait 45 minutes yeah. to buy your uh, Trident or whatever? I don't know what gum people drink. drink. <laughs> I don't know what gum people drink anymore. Uh-oh. Is your watch telling you something? Yeah, I just got a text. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to talk to you because no. we've had that several times. I yeah. was wondering if cash might have been the trigger word. I was looking for the trigger word. So, but when we're talking about um, um, buying stuff, uh, we're going to be, if you want to, if you want to sponsor us and you have a great company idea, like I've already given today, two of them. And then I thought Eric's was solid. I really did. I yeah. liked, I liked it. Well, sometimes it's not. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was solid. Tickles in the envelope, and it gets hot outside. Yeah. Then, yeah, not so much. That's another thing. Those envelopes could get really messy. They make uh, Tyvex envelopes. You're fine. Yeah, but aren't those more expensive? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> just the, the, you can just find them in someone's what, house. You just, peel, yeah. you just peel the siding off. You got a whole bunch of bags. I, well, I was just gonna say, what happened to the day where you used to put it in a bag and light it on fire and put it on somebody's porch? Now we're gonna put it in a bag and mail it to Eric. Eric, we're gonna need your home address. So we can, I'll start today. Yeah. I have a dog. Yeah. I Not a fan too. of that dog. Not a fan of that dog unless you read my bio, Ted. Hey, by the way, we got to rewrite those. We're coming to the end of the month. Yeah. We're coming to the end of the month, so huh? Excited. Hey, uh, let's write Max, too. Did anyone write one for Mac? Huh? No one likes you, Mac, nope. apparently. <laughs> I have two sentences for you from two different people. And I like, they're, they're basically both the same thing. And apparently, uh, your killing of chickens is world-renowned. Excellent. Yeah. When I say world renowned, it's because we are in how many countries now? Like nine, I think. Nine countries. So please come clean and just tell us who's stealing your internet <laughs> from random countries. Like you don't have to steal it. You can yeah, you can like, legitimately get a yeah. VPN. Yeah. If and you're hide your what I don't get is of all the things you're hiding. Yeah. Why is it Yeah, if we're your guilty I pleasure. I don't want people to know I listen to that checks out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll so tell my them router I'm coming from India. <laughs> is through Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. And uh because it's really it's like countries where I'm like how would anybody know yeah. about us? Do you want me to pull? I can pull them up yeah, real, yeah. right I, quick. And so now the best part of that is, is we're in, yeah, however many countries, we're still not in 50 states. We're not even in 30 states. We're in what, 24? 24, yeah. 24. So yeah, it is Slovakia, India, Hungary, United Kingdom, Germany, and Canada. So six countries. Hmm. Seven if you count the one we're in. <laughs> that is amazing to me. Yeah. That is amazing. So if you're the in any part, I know someone from Canada that listens to us. Yeah. But this is, uh, it says that they're coming from Quebec and he lives in Ontario. So that's not even him. So where are you stealing so, your yeah, internet he's from? He's stealing his internet yeah. from somewhere so, else so to we, listen to us. We got, we got some questioning. Uh, we, we got some questions here. So, hey, maybe we should, uh, maybe we could create an internet stealing company. What do you think? Um, it seems to be there's a lot of people on board. I think you're going to have to after all these businesses. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to reclaim your name and like a, steal internet, like a tunnel, just like a V right. tunnel of where to send my stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna send your emails to no name at, at vtunnel.com. Yeah. Um, no, you know what? I thought the uh, energy today was terrible. Um, I blame you. I, blame I thought Mac. we picked it up. I mean, Mac never brings energy. No, so. I feel like you guys. If you would have supported like the, my what business, the way it sounds now, yeah, is much better than what it sounded like before we started. Like. All right, welcome to that checks out on <laughs> on national on NPR. Yeah, um, I'm going to kick it over to Damon. Damon, do you have any business ideas today? <laughs> That's how it felt. We came in, so yeah. I think we we. But but you do admit though, it, whether you're in or out of my business, <clears throat> I can sell it. It can, it oh, it'll sell. Yeah, no, people I, will do. I, I have people, no Mac, doubt. Right? That people will download the apps. People that there will, is an endless amount of pervs in this country, so you should be fine. It's not pervs. People willing to teach kids how to drive cars. Don't please don't turn this into something that's not. You the one that named it barely legal. So don't ride don't share act like this is ride me. share. It does not matter what comes after that word. Ride share. Once oh. you put barely legal on it, you. I could don't put, even think ride share is. What? Never mind. It's a real yeah, thing. Exactly. <laughs> it's a real thing. Exactly. No, he he caught the the pun immediately, whether ride you share. intended it or not. No, they. I'm telling you right now, they have places you can park and ride share. You could name it Barely Legal for Jesus, and I'm still out. <laughs> still out. There is nothing you could put after Barely Legal that justifies the Barely Legal part. I don't think, I don't see how you don't get that. <laughs> what if I do Barely Legal ride share for Jesus? No, even worse. Huh? Worse. <laughs> okay. Worse. Well, I think if you think that he's in the car with That's you, how you're, you're going to be a Waco incident. <laughs> yeah. So we can agree, though, that it's well, that is terrible. Yes. Well, but it's marketable. 
It's marketable. Dead pervs will buy it. Okay. Sure. So, and the reason I want to I point that out, there's one thing this week that caught my eye um, at like two o'clock in the morning when the commercial's on TV and you fell asleep TV on. Uh, I've been watching the house shows now when I go to sleep. So that's good. So I wake up and I'm like, hey, look, they're drywalling. Then you're back out again, you know? <laughs> so, um, but there was a, a commercial um, and I can't remember what it's called, but it looks like a lipstick tube. And it's for if you have, like, if you're going out in the town and you're a lady and you have facial hair and you need to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. It's probably like an epilator. It, it's, it, it's, some, it's something weird. Well, like the, the epilady back in the day. Or yeah, but that's, what the, that's where they got that name is because <clears throat> it's literally like, it literally like burns your. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it burns no, your face. No, up. this is actually, it, when I looked at it, it looks like when, because I have a razor that has the three oh, it has the heads coils. on it, right? Yeah. It has the three heads on it. It so looks that like, like so it looks like to it looks a, like one of the heads to a stranger yeah. from across the room. It looks lipstick. like you're just putting lipstick on. Yeah, but, but you're really getting rid of your mustache. That's what you're trying yeah, to say. But when you're putting lipstick on, are you really putting lipstick up by your sideburns? Yeah, right. You know, and down on your chin. You know, I'm going for the Joker look today. <laughs> yeah. And if you're just smiling at people while you're doing it, you're just yeah. like, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, but play like like singing like the you know clown song in the back. But I mean, if, when you just boil it down. Glad I called that guy. Yeah. But when you boil it down, you're just shaving your face and you're doing it in public. Yeah. What if you just do that stuff before you leave the house and you don't have to carry one of those things? I mean, how how often listen, I grow facial hair fast. Like fast. Yeah. And the same day I yeah, shave. So you clearly shaved in the car because you don't right. look gross today. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I I can shave and like seriously, five hours later, if I'm doing something, I may have to shave again. That's just how it is. Now, eventually it'll slow down, but right now I'm in my early 40s, so that's what happens. You're right? in your mid 40s, sir. Right. We clarified. <laughs> I that. tried sliding that in, nope. but you didn't let it go. You didn't let it go. <laughs> no, so. I don't like that phrase either. Gross. <laughs> what, letting it go? No, you oh, just slide it in yeah, part. You gotcha. tried to slide it in. Yeah, I tried yeah. to slide it in. Um, but no, I, I feel like if I was going to leave the house, I would know ahead of time I need to shave. I, I, I'm going to do that. You know, you get another text? No, I'm done. Uh oh. Oh, is he? Do you have Did something you on the screen? It? Did you? No, so, that's some guy shaving his armpit with another yeah, razor. It, the name of the video is "Men Try Painful Body Hair Removal with an Epilator." This is what you're doing right now. <laughs> I, so you you've guys, still you never remember, Googled anything that's you guys ever remember, helped me. Brian, you might not. Do you remember Nads, the hair removal product that was on? I okay. do now. I no, tried that I, on my chest once. Okay. I don't. I think I don't even think this is real that, skin. I have that anymore. was that was the worst pain of my life. You tried Nads? Oh no! No. To be fair. I tried it, but someone <laughs> wait, wait, else tried it. Time stamp that because I just want you to pull that out. Yeah. You tried that? I tried it. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> um, my my roommate, one of my best friends at the time, I said, "Hey, I bought the stuff, but I can't do this area right here on my back. Like on my, you know, I can't yeah, reach yeah, it." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And he's like, "Well, and that's where we started. Had I started anywhere else myself, he'd have never got a turn. <laughs> he got a turn with a swoop that was like." Uh, seriously, like the size of his green screen yeah, behind yeah, us no, here, you know? Yeah, no, I, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I can't have any hair left. He's like, it didn't even get all of it. I'm bleeding. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's just like, it was, I guess that's the closest thing to waxing. Is that yeah, correct? Right. Okay, that's, it. yeah. No, that's gross. But waxing, usually heat it up. They like smooth it out. They put it in one direction. They do it. Yeah. Like when I did, I didn't do any of that. I just like. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, he globbed it on yeah, with no. like the stick thing yeah. they give you. Yeah, no, I'm. And and it, first off, it's pulling out with the stick thing. That's how like it, it's already like yeah. the worst silly putty accident you've ever had. Yeah, in your it's like entire putting life. like like almost almost solidified honey on yourself. Yes, and trying to rip it off with cheesecloth. It, yeah, yeah. Well, it's even better when someone else gets a shot to do it, and they do it, and they're like, <laughs> "Well, maybe we should try it somewhere else." No, no. <laughs> I, I, I try your try it on your shoulder blade. It won't. No. And you know what I did? I said, try it one more time. Let's see yeah. if it, if it yeah. did. Let's no. see if you did it wrong. <laughs> nope, you did it yeah. right. No, that, that, well, because yeah. we thought, same thing as you. What if I pull the other way? You know, yeah. I'm pulling with the grain. Let's pull against the grain. Um, either way, <laughs> lots uh, of pain. Yeah. They have ones now where they it's similar, and you put it in your nose, and you let it sit in there, and then you yank, real? You yank down, and it takes out. Sorry. I, all the nose yeah, hair? you're going to clean them a lot of mic hitting this, yeah. this week, Brian. <laughs> He's vigorously pulling his nose hair yeah. out. For, no, yeah. That's, that's a real thing. Yeah, Google that later because I don't want Damon to be mad because you're Googling something else. But yeah, it's a real thing. Well, you're Googling stuff for him that helps. You I, chose I, that seat. You <laughs> chose that seat. That's the seat you chose. <laughs> I, But I I didn't even say epilady. And, and, hey, if you have an extra TV yeah. that you want, I could I could put like... <laughs> I don't know, somewhere in this vicinity. <laughs> I could, I could, nope, that, nope, nope. I could no, put it no. on that corner, right there, yeah. right behind and, your other side. And some sort of ceiling mount, yeah. maybe. <laughs> you hear that yeah. every time, like, yeah. he Googles, he just, burr. oh, we're Googling. <laughs> <laughs>
Put some backup sirens on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom just to capitate myself right on the TV. Wham. Yeah. <laughs> can, can, can you hear that in the podcast? Is that, can you hear that? that? Hey, that was a legit thing though. I didn't know what you could hear. I could hear everything in the podcast. You heard it all. Yeah. Yeah. Does that pick up in the mic? Yes, yeah. it does. Yes, it does. Yes, and we can taste it. <laughs> it picked up in the mic, and we can taste it. So I thank you very much. Eye rolling and everything. <laughs> what did we say? Did you uh, get that uh, c- country style? Because it tastes like it. <laughs> I got. To, I had a phone call yesterday um, from somebody listening to the podcast, and he said he was saying he goes he goes you know he goes if you guys could have got all that annoying noise off of the recording <laughs> we could have heard nicole's eyes rolling in the back seat and i go annoying noise goes you and ted talking <laughs> so said, and i was like oh my god hey, that's pretty solid you know yeah. <laughs> chalk one yeah. up for him you Damon's know? favorite phrase when we're in a road trip brian is one of us in this car might have farted <laughs> <laughs> well i say may or may not have. yeah may or may not have it's, yeah. it's always a mm, possibility <laughs> now the best part about this last trip there was three of us normally i have no one else to pin it on <laughs> yeah so <laughs> <laughs> so I can say definitively it was not me. So <laughs> yeah, when he goes, it was it wasn't me. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been a parochio. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I think we need to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we finally found the limit, right? Yeah, yeah. That one that one stings well, a little. Well, well, <laughs> That one stings a little. Did you Spying say on women doing yoga, what? no limit. Yeah. Calling to business, barely legal, no limit. Doing other very, like, <laughs> drugging women with flowers and might have chloroform in them, no limit. <laughs> Damon may or may not have farted. We're done, guys. We're, we're done. <laughs> we're done here. <laughs> Someone named Paracchio might have farted in the car. All right, this is just ridiculous. We need to end this right now. This is preposterous. How dare you? How dare First you? First off, this, po- this podcast needs to be not so far-fetched, okay? <laughs> this needs to be like a realistic possibility here. So, oh, by we, the way. We need to go back to April and start over then. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but I, I do... Uh, I do think so. Next week we're going to have guests. Oh, that's right. That's we're very have exciting. Very exciting. And I think because we're going to kind of play off of um, uh, we're having Gina and the girls from Lola coming in. They have their uh, intentionally Lola podcast. Their name was Lola. Yeah. <laughs> they joined a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they don't want to join this one, but they're going <laughs> to. So when they when they come in, um, they're normally they're real deep. They they pull out, try to pull the inner person out of people. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, would they tell? Would she tell us? She Why says, "Why is that so funny?" What? I'll, I'll tell you later. Yeah, <laughs> when you're older. Yeah, he may or may not have gotten a joke there. We don't know. <laughs> so, but uh, but no. What's funny is is um, they. She told us when we wa- sat in down there. She goes, "My goal today is probably to get you guys to tear up or to you know to, right. to do that." Right. And not even close. <clears throat> yeah, not even close. Not even. Clo- Sorry, we're so shallow. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. When you come in here. Um, I'm going to play on that a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to get him to cry, but we're going to uh, we're going to get a little deeper. I think so. I think next week, since uh, we're going to uh, have me and you, uh oh, and Big Mac, okay, yeah, I think that we should, yeah, basically teach the world Big Mac double quarter pounder. <laughs> we should Happy teach meal. the world the difference between men and women. I'm already because we're going to have much. both. We're going to have both here. So I think we should. That's that should be our goal is for everybody to understand what's going through a woman's mind when we hear stuff and when they hear stuff. And I hope that'll be really funny and we'll see. And very enlightening. That's the whole thing. I want people to learn. I think they learned a lot today. I think they learned a lot. I will tell you right now by next Saturday. They learned they could get a wooden nickel. Yeah. I I want one of those. I do. I do. We're going to, we're we're going to place an order. I'll, I'll have to do it because you don't have a wallet. Yeah, so <laughs> I do not have any money. We will place an order right after we get off the mic. But. Yeah, yeah. So you will see. Hey, you're going to instantly see. I guess we're, we're, return on your investment. Yeah, say, your return on investment, Eric, is yeah. pretty good. So anybody else sure. listening that might want to sponsor a podcast, return on investment is very high. Yeah. Okay. Very but you high. Gotta, you got to have solid merch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or something that looks like a squirrel running across the right. yard because I will. I will buy yeah, in. Yeah. I will buy in. Right is that now. a cat? <laughs> Dude, there's a cat in my yard. <laughs> That was legit, though. That was me being me. That was yeah, totally no, raw. That yeah, was totally. That was, people were getting a look at what really happens. Yeah, you know. And <laughs> you guys, the fact that we get forty-five to ninety minutes of podcast every week—it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, and especially when we started out today, it was like, hmm. 
What are we gonna? And, and I knew we had the business idea from Eric, which I thought was cool. Yeah, we had the sponsorship. Um, oh, and I didn't even mention the fact that I think I ruined myself moving my treadmill from the upstairs oh, to the basement. You know what? We got to end with that. Is because that what we're going to end with? You, well, because you Did said you last else week. you wanted to say about next week, the preface for next week? No, I, I, next week I just, I really want to, I want to be able to teach um, everybody's children and grandparents the difference between boys and girls. I think that's the best way to put it. Yeah. Is that, we'll call it like barely legal. Mm. <laughs> just kidding. Mm-hmm. It'll be with Jesus. Yeah, we'll be with Jesus. We'll be fine. Your looks are. Yeah, I, I love your looks today. I really feel like I'm. Well, thank I'm you. In, I'm in your. No, not I your use shirt. my lipstick on the way in. <laughs> Got a big outline for your beard. Yeah. Were you trying for that? No, I took the frontage road and uh, it got bumpy. I mean, that guy's lipstick sounds like your lightsaber. <laughs> or the Chappelle joke I threw in there. For you. Yeah, so, so, I'm not gonna explain it. Those people that get it, get it. We'll so on. I want to know because I, I I worked last Saturday. That's true. I had no part in moving the treadmill. Oh, no. No, you didn't. And am I, am I, am I very glad? Yo, you're telling yeah, me? Oh. Well, you remember we put it together. Did you help me bring it upstairs? I did. Okay. That was amazing because it was in the box yeah. and it was heavy. Right. We probably should have taken out components of it well, and that's, done it. I, I went to take it apart. Yeah. And they make it where you can fish the power cable that goes from the base to the controller. Mm-hmm. You, you can only fish that one way. One time. Yep. You can't fish that back. So I was able to take off the left leg and the the, t- the top part, the you know the the display and all that yeah. stuff. I was able to take that part out, but I had to leave the other leg connected, the other arm connected to it, and um, I couldn't really get that. I I fastened it as hard as I could to the deck, but it was I said deck. Yeah, yeah. You said deck, right? And it was still sliding. And then the uh, hydraulics, because it lifts, like you can lift it up right. to, to close it. That kept wanting to open up every time I would tip it. Oh, jeez. So I took that bar out. It, just imagine, like you. It, Who helped I, you carry it, Tina? Okay, so again, I know how heavy but, that thing was. And <clears throat> she helped me out. And, she did a good I, job. Here's the thing, I don't. She helped me out. She didn't have to. Well, she wanted it downstairs, so I, I feel like. So she kind of did have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had it. I had the back part, and she was just guiding the front part. And then some. I don't remember how we switched, but we switched. Oh, we went down one because I have to go down the main stairs and then down into the basement. Okay. So somehow we we switched, and I was I had the front, she had the back. So were you walking backwards? Who was, was backwards? Walking, she was at first. Okay, because I think backwards in that scenario might be easier because you can stand up. When you're well, going the, forward, you're really, you're really that bent over. The, 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 the top part, like the top where the where the electronics goes in and then the mm-hmm. bottom part is just the back part. She had the back part first and I had the top part, which has the plastic shielding and the coating and everything. And I put it down once heavier than I wanted to and I heard a little bit of a crack and I'm like, ooh, ooh I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah. When we flipped and switched and now we're going down the non-carpeted stairs, we're going down the basement wood stairs, it cracked Every single time we every went step. down the stair, yeah. Every step. And I was like, you sure you don't want me to switch? I can get the other side. Because she's like, no. I'm like, well, this side, all I have to do is just kind of slide it down. That side, you have to hold it up and carry it down so it doesn't do that. And then we got it all the way down. I put it back together. It's never going to be the same as it was. I get that. I knew that. It still works. I've used it. It's right. fine. It's a little squeaky now. I'll just have to, you know, hold yeah. it up a little bit. And then I came back. After I put it back together, that took a long time because I was really tired at that point. I get back upstairs, and she's like, how was the plastic? I'm like, I didn't, I didn't even look. I'm like, I'm not even going to look. No, because you're cringing, yeah, right? I don't even want to know. Yeah. And I said, now, here's the deal. When we move out of this house, one of two things is happening. We're getting movers, or the new people get a free treadmill. That's like my desk, right? Yeah. We said the same thing, because yeah. you helped me move that upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that reminded me of a time when you met my friend Chelsea from Living yeah. in Nashville now. We yeah. had a townhouse in Champaign, and he got the bigger room, so I... Got the small room, and I said, you know, for to save space, I'm just going to get a. I was in college. I I didn't care. futon. Well, I got a. I, my parents were getting rid of their uh, sleeper sofa. Okay, yeah. I'm like, I didn't care about my back back then. I I wish I did now. Yeah, because it's ruined. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I'll just get a sleeper sofa, and then you know I'll, that way during the day I'll have room in my room, and then I won't, it won't be taken up with all kinds of bed. Well, after about like two weeks of pulling that out every night, I was like, screw it. I just started sleeping on the couch part. I never like made it into a bed ever again. But then we had, when we moved out, we had to get it downstairs. And the same scenario, she's in the bottom, Tina's at the bottom, I'm at the top, holding it, like, letting, it, she's, all she has to do is just, like, kind of pick it up off the next stair and let it slide, and I'm holding it. Right, yeah. Well, we miscommunicated at one point. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, we took out the closet doors at the bottom of the stairs, because oh, that right. sucker just went. <laughs> she, she got out of the way, at least? Yeah, she got out of the way. But yeah. it, it wedged. Like, we had to take it apart. To get it like, because now it's stuck between the rail of the stairs and the, and the oh. it's half in the closet. Uh, yeah, it was. The best part is, is that I never actually lived in that place with Chelsea. He, 
So you had no deposit online? No, no, for reasons I'm not going to go into. He stayed somewhere else. Yeah. But he was like, yeah, I, but I kind of want that room. So, and I'm paying for it. I'm like, okay. I can't even just move into the big room. You're never here. You're, you're never here. And you're like, ah, I kind of want that room. Sounds to me like you had a bed to sleep in. You didn't have to worry about it. You should have yeah. spent it there. Yeah. It was all in parts. I would have had to put it together. But yeah. It was all there. No kidding. Yeah. So I should have known that mm. Tina and I moving heavy things downstairs I was is gonna not. Say, when, when I lift not something with my wife, it's always a bad idea. Well, we got in a fight yeah. once, and this is on me. It was on my fault. I'm I'm not faulting her. She she got like a ten foot table from mm-hmm. somewhere. It's like a really big conference table. And she wanted in her uh, to be her office, so she could have because she was gonna um, do homework with the kids at night. So she would have like one side to be her work, and the other side she could work with the kids. Right. And they came home from school, and then everything. It was a, it was a good plan, but we had to take that upstairs, and it kept sliding. You know, like the bottom part would slide out. Mm-hmm. So instead of going forward with it, it's now it's tipping. And oh yeah, and you know the roll is one person on the front on one side, the other person on the back on the other side, and you pull and either way, can't and go either pull way. straight and right, right. And I didn't think I needed to communicate that. I just thought that was you know common knowledge for moving something this big and this heavy. So I'm getting angry that it's sliding out from under me, and I'm trying to like keep it from slamming into the walls and slamming into the, yeah. the paint. And I, I I don't remember what I said, but I said something inappropriate or I snapped or something. She's just like, fine, just walked off. So, so now, now, now I'm on the whole thing by myself. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I, I brought that on myself. That's my fault. But wow. Yeah. That, I mean, you want to talk about the worst thing you could do to another human, no matter how much you're angry with them, is yeah. to leave like a leave them hanging with a 250-pound table in the middle of a house that you don't want to ruin either. Yeah. Oh, man. That was the worst. So did she come back and help? No. No. Yeah. Yeah, and you wonder why I've had my back surgery re- <laughs> repaired more than once. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's the a lot of spouses fight over money or fight over kids or fight over this. Um, we would probably argue more over moving a piece of furniture together. Yeah. yeah. Um, we go on we, three. We don't go three and then go. We go on three. Right. Your stuff like that. Right. <laughs> Which is something so stupid, but man, did that. But it matters. Point, yeah. But it matters. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Yesterday I sat down, I got home from work, sat down on the couch. I don't know how, how it happened, but just the position I'm in, it took me 30 minutes. Because everywhere I moved, my back was like, nope, can't go that way. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I was like in a box without a box. Well, that's part of being in your late 40s. That happens. Uh, I mean? Mid 40s. Yeah. <laughs> then I slide it in there. I was really trying. Four, five, six. <laughs> I was like, I'll just roll this. Nope. Oh, I'll just get straight. Oh, nope. Yeah. And they're like, I'm by myself. The only person down there is a the dog. And he's just looking at me. I'm like, I, buddy, if you don't go get help, I'm going to die here. <laughs> that's where we're at right now. So don't look at me like you want to go outside. Just poop in the carpet. I'll get a bag from Eric. <laughs> If you're going to go in the bathroom, be sure to put the seat down so yeah. I know that I got yeah, something so to do. Yeah, so I know what later. I got to do. <laughs> but uh, no, gone are the days of Lassie and telling telling somebody that yeah. <laughs> Timmy's in the well. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy's on the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy's on the stairs. He's going to die. <laughs> so no, I, I totally get it. But that's the one thing we do. We avoid 150%. And I think everybody, that's a good tip for everybody, that whether you're married or not, don't move something with, yeah. your, with your significant other. Or work out every signal that could possibly happen. Yeah. Like verbally and non-verbally. But, but you have to do that in a way where you're not being condescending because when yeah, you like, can't mansplain it. Sure. That's the whole problem. Yeah. Because I, I get that. And she's like, why are you lecturing me before we do this? It's like, okay, I'm lecturing you because when I scream at you during this, it's gonna be way worse. <laughs> so what I, I would wanna, rather take this heat than yeah, that heat. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to take a little bit of this heat, okay? Instead of jumping face first into the fire and going, didn't see that coming. And the thing is, you it's know? not it's not per- I, and it, I know it comes off that way and I I know in hindsight I come off as a big a hole, and I don't mean to. Yeah, it's just that when I realize that I am 14 seconds from hearing my spine snap. Yeah, I need you to understand what I'm saying and just do it. Like, yeah. don't think about it. Don't think. Well, maybe we should do it the other way. Like, no, just do it right now, right now. Because yeah. man, there's some times it's been like, well, that Ted's gonna be off work for two months. Cool. <laughs> Did we really need this table upstairs? That's that's just knowledge. Please take that. If you take that and do it's that. It's so unfortunate. I it, hate it so much that it, that it, it, it happens. Is. It's the same though. I think it's same with kind of father and son too. You got to you got to watch that because I, I noticed like I'll, I'll be doing something with my son. We pulled the pool stairs out the other day. And the pool stairs when I throw them in, I have the like the they're called the not the cake tier, but they're they're hollow and you throw the sandbags in them. Yeah, I've, okay? I've helped you with them before. Yeah, so yeah. I have so I have the like 200 pounds of sand in there yeah. to keep them from floating away in the pool. It is what it is. When you go to pull them out, you have 200 pounds of sand in there, plus the water draining out slowly. So you're pulling this up. And, you know, my right arm has never been what it has been for a while because it, it is what it is. But Chuck's 13. He's not my 20-year-old. Right. You know, and we're pulling this up. And I'm like, you got you to gotta pull here. And, you gotta, and I'm, I'm stopping. I'm like, wait a minute. 
you can't, you're doing the most you right. can do. You know, it's not your fault that I have 200 pounds in here plus all the water, you know, uh, I don't know how many gallons of water inside these stairs and I'm trying to pull this out of here. Right. So I had to stop and take a step back because it's so easy to do that. Yeah. It's so, it's like, you should understand exactly what I'm thinking and right. what my next move is without me saying anything, right. you know? That's one of my biggest things is I have to overcome the fact that I know what my plan is. Yeah. That doesn't mean everyone else is like, oh yes, I'm getting the thoughts, Ted. I get it. <laughs> I'm on the wave. But making your plan known without being like a total yeah. juice box to somebody. Yeah, and the thing is, like, if you have an rough. idea, like, please shout it out. This is what my plan is. If you want to discuss it, I don't have a problem with that. It's not me saying this is the ultimate way we have to do it. Right. But this is the way I've conceived it in my head. This is how I think it's going to go. Yeah. Please feel free to say, no, I think we should do it this way. <laughs> but I'm not doing it like, this is the way we have to do it or else we're not going to do it. Right. I just, like, I just want you to know what my plan is so when we get to step 18, right. like we're still on the same page. This is not new to you. Yeah. Because if I'm explaining it while we're doing it, it's a right. totally different tone. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Because then you're going to have to get in the front seat and make the left turn <laughs> and it's not going to go well. Hey, so you're in on that then. Uber? I am. I am so out. <laughs> I just and thought so we call I think we're out. I think yeah, this, we're, we're going to wrap it we're up. Out. That checks out. I have been Ted. That has been Damon. We haven't heard from Lot this time, but he had some great Bon Mots over there. The producer, the owner of the studio, Audio Hive Podcast Studio, still not paying attention. Brian, that checks out. He probably has muted. <laughs> I've, I figured out the secret. Yeah, <laughs> this this box I bought is magic. <laughs> this this it's magic box. We're gonna wrap it up. Eighteen minutes later, you think we should wrap it up? Yeah, I think we should. Think we, well, you know what's where, weird? Where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm texting you from my house. Can you send me the copy of that? Oh shit! I'm gonna hit stop right now. <laughs> Jeez.